G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. In this video today, I'm going to go over the tool videos that I have in my music DVD collection, right after my logo does the little spinny thing. Welcome back to Music Video Muster. This is the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. I am a huge fan of the rock band Tool. They are one of the most impressive and progressive and incredible original bands of the past few decades. Tool is a band that does not do very many DVD releases, but the few that they have released are really worth tracking down for your own collection. And I'm pretty sure that I have all of their official video releases. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that I've missed. So we have Schism and we also have Parabola. Now I don't remember when these two DVDs were released, but they match in terms of their packaging and they were released in the same year. So let's start with Parabola. It's a simple DVD single. So there's a little booklet inside and there's a DVD in a gatefold cardboard digipack. So the disc has the song Parabola with the little introduction part that goes with it, which is called Parable on the track list of the audio only version. There's also a commentary by someone called Jello Biafra, I think that's how you pronounce his name, from the Dead Kennedys, which is a band I know absolutely nothing about. But it's very funny, there are two different commentary tracks that you can choose from, and there's also an audio only remix of the song, which is an alternative version with more atmospheric soundscape kind of stuff. So yeah, not a lot of content on this particular DVD, but it's a must have if you're a Tool fan and especially if you're a DVD collector. And at the same time we have Schism, which is just the same as Parabola. Gatefold packaging. There's a little booklet in here and obviously the disc. And just like Parabola, there's the music video, there's two different commentaries, and on this disc, the commentary is done by David Yao, who was a member of the Jesus Lizard, another band that I know absolutely nothing about, unfortunately. Again, there are two very funny commentary tracks, and there is a remix of the song, which is audio only. Now, if you're a DVD collector and you want to get yourself a copy of these DVD singles from the Lateralis album, I think the biggest challenge is going to be finding a digipack that is in reasonable condition. Mine are in very good condition, I think. They were a little bit worn around the, uh, the outside of the cardboard, but uh, I managed to clean them up and make them look really good. The only unfortunate thing is the DVD spindle. I've had to replace the spindle because it broke off with these uh, sticky ones that I got on eBay. They're very cheap, maybe $5 for 10 or 15 of them. Uh, it's not ideal, but it certainly does the job because unfortunately, if the teeth break in digipack spindles, there's nothing you can do. You just have to, you know, find an alternative solution, which is what I've done. Anyway, highly recommended, Parabola and Schism. The next release I want to talk about is Vicarious. This is a DVD single, and it's reminiscent of the 10,000 Days album from which the single comes because it's got these little glasses things 
which you can use to look at some artwork. The artwork comes in the form of these little cards. And um, here are just two examples. And there are more of them. You put them in this little slot, like so. And then when you look through it, it makes it look all magnified and almost 3D. So it's a cool experience. It's something different and unique, which uh, Tool is really good at doing with their products. The DVD itself has the music video, of course, but also with some bonus content. So there are two commentary tracks by comedian David Cross, and uh, I find these tracks to be very funny. There's also a documentary about the making of the video. There's also a video about the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, which is Alex Gray's art gallery in New York. I'm not sure if this gallery is still open or still exists today, but it's very interesting. And of course, since the Lateralis album, Tool and Alex Gray together produce some amazing audiovisual content. If you want to add Vicarious to your collection, I think that it's starting to get a little bit difficult to find online, especially in good condition. I was very lucky. I managed to get this brand new on eBay from the seller Rare Waves, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite eBay sellers. So if you're looking for a copy of Vicarious, hopefully you can get one that's in good condition like this. Now the next release I want to talk about is called Opiate Squared. The original Opiate album came out in 1992 and this release, Opiate Squared, came out in 2022. So this was somewhat of a celebration of the 30 year anniversary of Opiate. It contains a single Blu-ray and a hardcover book with lots of interesting photos and artwork. The Blu-ray is the only Blu-ray release that Tool have ever done, and it features a re-recorded, revised version of the track Opiate. It's a longer version of the song with an extra instrumental section, and to my ears, the mix is cleaner and punchier than the original song. It's a CGI video, and as usual for Tool, it features some weird, disgusting looking creatures. And it also features a kind of spacey theme. Of all the releases that I've mentioned so far, this one is probably the most readily available. It's still a fairly recent release. I'm not sure whether it's out of print yet, but compared to the other items on this list, there are way more of them available. So if you're interested in Tool, if you want to get yourself a copy of this really, really cool Blu-ray, Opiate Squared. Now before I go on to the last and most important, most prized item in my collection, I wanted to make a quick honorable mention of another item that I own now this one is not a DVD, it is just a CD, and it's Tool's most recent album, Fear Inoculum, which came out in 2019. Now this album doesn't have a DVD release, but when I bought the CD, which also comes with a hardbound book of artwork and photographs, it also came with a download card where I could download a little video. Now there is another version of this release. It's expensive because it has a little screen included in the case. And when you open it up, it plays the video in HD. Now the video is not really a music video because it doesn't have a song. It's more like sound effects and soundscapes 
but I think it's worth mentioning because it also carries on the tool legacy of having some really trippy, fractal-inspired visuals. So the most impressive and the most prized tool music DVD that I own in my collection is Salival. This is a 2000 release. It was released both as a CD plus VHS and also a CD plus DVD. Uh, and I have the DVD version. This is a fairly rare item and it's coveted by Tool fans. It's getting harder and harder, I believe, to track down an item that is in good condition. And if you look on eBay or other online sales platforms, Saliva always fetches a fairly high price. Now, I was very lucky to get my copy. It was on auction in the United States, and by chance, I was able to be at my computer at the time when the auction was ending. So I was able to participate in those last minute bidding wars. I won the item and I was very happy with the price that I paid for it. Now this is a box set. It has a booklet with some nice photos in it. It's also got a CD and a DVD. On the CD, there is a live concert it contains original Tool songs and some covers, most notably Led Zeppelin's No Quarter. There's also a really great alternative version of Tool's original song, Push It. As for the DVD, it features five music videos in 5.1 surround sound, which is fantastic. One of the videos is a lesser known music video from very early in Tool's career, that's called Hush. It's the only Tool music video to feature the band members. And as you can see from this little sample, it's a very old video, but it's great to have a digital version collected on this disc. There are four other music videos on this DVD. From the menu, you can choose the Arnima album or Undertow. When you go into the Arnima menu, we have the title track, Arnima, and Stink Fist, which are both amazing, incredible songs, and they both have really interesting music videos. In the Undertow menu, there's Sober and Prison Sex. All four of these videos are done with a combination of CGI and stop animation. Personally, I really love the stop animation. It gives a really different sense of realism. Although the CGI is good, and in later Tool videos, the CGI has improved a lot. But I still think that there's something to be said about the old style animation of these classic Tool videos. Of all the releases that I've mentioned today, this one, Salival, should be at the top of your priority list. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching my video and thanks for making it to the end. I really love to hear from my viewers and I love feedback, so please let me know. Are you a Tool fan? Do you own any Tool DVDs? What's your favorite Tool album? Anything about Tool, let's just start a discussion. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be up to date with any new videos that I bring out. Also, please like and share the video and spread the word about Music Video Muster. So until the next video, please take some time to watch your music DVDs because music is better on DVD. See ya.